There are many secret, hidden, unknown things about Python. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things. It replaces the exclamation mark equals not equals operator with what I think we can all agree is the superior double chevron operator. So to activate it, um, because it is still quite controversial, you know, we haven't quite brought everyone around to it yet. Um, we do from future import Barry as fluffle. And this means Barry as friendly language uncle for life. I'll explain that in a bit. We import that and now the rubbish insignificant exclamation mark equals operator is gone. We can't use it anymore. Look, try and do one not equals two. Can't use it. Uh, with Barry as the BDFL, I looked that up. I already forget what it means. I think it's benevolent dictator for life. There's a lot of acronyms here. We need to use the double chevron operator. And if we do indeed use a double chevron operator, we can see that one uh, doesn't equal two and five indeed equals five because five not equals five is false. One not equals two is true. As you can see, this is obviously uh, the better operator to use. However, there is a small problem with this. So if we load up a file like this test file here, and we do the same thing from future import Barry as fluffle. And then we do print one not equals two. We'll see, we get a syntax error in the code. We can ignore that for now. But if we run pi test.py, ignore the fact that terminals take forever. I don't know why this computer's running the gas. It doesn't work. And that's because it's not supposed to. This was actually an April Fool's joke from 2009. Uh, detailed very clearly in pep, oops, uh, pep 40, what, Firefox, really? <laughs> I think Firefox is playing an April Fool's joke on me now. We'll just load it like this, it's fine. As you can see, pep 401, BDFL retirement, I still think that means benevolent. I did actually look this up, but I can't find it. I don't think it's in my tabs anymore. Um, the BDFL, having shepherded Python development for 20 years, officially announces his retirement effective immediately. The second point uh, recognizes that the exclamation mark equals inequality operator in Python 3.0 was horrible, uh, was a horrible finger pain inducing mistake. The fluffle reinstates the diamond operator as the sole spelling. This change is important enough to be implemented for and released in Python 3.1 to help transition the feature. A new future statement from future import barrier has been added and the pep was written on the 1st of April, 2009. Now the reason I do it uh, for this video is one because April Fools has just gone by because I don't particularly like April Fools I've gone with the this is an Easter egg and it's Easter um, video um, But yeah, in truth, there's no real se Well, I suppose it is a secret operator. It is in the code. You can activate it The only problem is you can only activate it in the interactive shell, but perhaps that is for the best really uh, I believe there is a language that actually uses the diamond operator for not equals. I'm sure there is one, but I can't think of what it is. At this point in the video, I would normally do the whole spiel about making sure you like the video and comment on all this, but I kind of feel bad considering that this video was really just a big ruse and a big Easter egg. It was more an excuse to just say happy Easter to everyone. I hope everyone had a great time. I know I did. I spent the whole weekend, long weekend, uh, watching the Big Bang Theory and play Mario. So I had a fantastic weekend uh, and I hope everyone did as well and got all the chocolate that they wanted or all the not chocolate if you don't like chocolate. Um, but yeah, I won't uh, bore you with all the sport. I will put all the patrons and members and names on the screen to say a very special thank you to them. And I'll see you in the next video for something hopefully a little bit more informative. <laughs>